Hey YouTube, um, so this is going to be the Linux part and you're probably thinking why are you giving us a Linux part if we already have Linux, like why would we want to download? Well, for example, um, let's put it this way, um, say you have one computer right now that has Linux on it and you want to go put it on your other computer but you're not connected to the internet or something along the lines of something got corrupted or anything like that or you don't have a boot CD which is kind of what you need you need the live CD so maybe you want to create the live CD again maybe you want to make the live CD the whole thing like maybe something like that you may want to make a recovery disk a startup disk that's where this tutorial will come in handy Are you have Linux here, you want to put Linux on a computer somewhere where it doesn't have internet, like I said before, then this would help you there if you don't have a CD already. So what you want to do is you want to open up Firefox, and the reason I'm going to say Firefox is because it's already bundled with Ubuntu. Okay, then you want to go to Ubuntu.com and you'll get the familiar window and you want to click download and you want to I still say stick with 32 bit um, and then you want to click start download you'll get a message box about the file name again a nice funky name um, you want to choose to save the file it will be uh, pretty big in size shouldn't take a whole long time to do but it could take a so I'm going to pause the video here and show you what you do after you get it downloaded. Okay, so here is my ISO file. Um, and what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to say this now, I'm not responsible if you mess up anything with your computer. If you mess up your Windows, you mess up your Mac, I'm not responsible. If you shouldn't, it's pretty straightforward. But if you mess something up, I am not responsible. I'm just giving you that warning now. And um, with that, if you'd like to continue, um, just find your ISO file you just downloaded. Now, I recommend, and just in case you don't have it, go to the Ubuntu Software Center. And I s recommend you go and try and get uh, Bracero that's a CD DVD copying and creation software because what you can do once you have that installed is you can right click the ISO and then choose open with Bracero it'll, it'll recognize the disk image and you put a disk into your CD drive and then click create and then it'll burn the disk and you'll have the image you'll have the uh, Windows Live CD and that's, a, that's it that's that's all you have to do. So the rest of this um, will continue again uh, from the uh, camera's point of view. Okay, so here we are with the Mac portion of this video on how to download and install Linux. So first what I'm going to show you is how to get Linux and download it, burn it. And then I'm going to show you how to plug it into your Mac and basically, essentially, um, install it. So first uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open your web browser. I'm using Firefox. And you want to gonna go to Google, and you can just type Ubuntu. That's the most popular distribution. If you want to try to find your own, you can, but I will not be providing support for it. 
Um, you should come here to this page, looks like this. And basically, very simple, click download Ubuntu. Completely free. Okay. 32-bit, um, 64-bit, I stick with the 32. Just what I do. Okay, now you can do this in a couple of different ways. You get it do a CD or a USB stick, as you can see right here. Um, personally, I like to have a CD because you could troubleshoot it easier because some older computers don't boot from USB stick. Even some current ones don't boot from boots from USB stick, so I just stick with the CD. And it's a CD, not DVD. So that's right, for the requirements for this, as, the, as you see right here on the screen, you need a blank CD minus R, and the computer you are installing Linux onto must be have some way of loading the CD minus R. And um, I will not be doing a tutorial on how to create a Linux USB drive. Okay, so once you're here and you click download, you want to do start download. And it's going to have a really funky name like that. But it's, it's going to end in .iso. The key thing is you have a program that can do it. Luckily, since we're on Mac, we do. It's already built in. So I'm going to pause the video, let it download, and then um, we'll come back and uh, continue. Okay, so it appears as though our Ubuntu ISO, ISO download here is just about done in about 40 seconds. So I'm going to end this video and it'll pick. Okay, so this is for the Windows part of installing Linux. So to get Linux, you're going to want to open your internet browser. I'm using Firefox. You can use whatever you want. You want to go to Google and you want to type Ubuntu, which is the most popular distribution of Linux. And it should be the first result, Ubuntu.com. Once you're there, you can click Download Ubuntu button. And on the resulting page, you want to choose 32-bit or 64-bit. If you already know, you can choose most likely your 32-bit and that's recommended. So if you want to click start download, it's going to ask you to save this .iso file, which is the disk image. You choose where you want to save that. And you do have the option of running it and installing it off a USB drive, but not all computers can boot from a USB drive, so I will not be providing support, nor will I show you how to do that. So you want to also make sure you have a blank CD minus R so you can burn this disk image. It finishes downloading, we're going to want to burn it. Okay, so I got my file right here, the .iso, and the easiest way to burn it is to um, right click. And if you already have the basic software installed to burn ISOs, which I used in another video tutorial, um, Infra Recorder. You can open that, and it allows you to, if you click the but lower left button that says right image, you can navigate to your disk image and put a blank CD minus R in your drive, and you can burn it. Okay, and the rest of the tutorial will be from the camera on showing you how to uh, boot from the CD and install Linux side by side. And at this point, I'd like to say that I am not responsible for any damage you do to your computer if you screw something up. It's pretty hard to do that. Uh, Linux makes it really easy with a follow these on-screen instructions, so you shouldn't mess anything up if you don't do if you follow the instructions uh, the Linux installer tells you to.